The shopping was a total blast. I think Emily and Lindsay had probably the most fun shopping. Had some good success. Probably, yeah. As you guys saw. Guys, look at this view out here. Check this out. The courtyard is so gorgeous. This whole place is just beautiful. We gotta go there and take pictures. Yeah. I can't believe I'm saying that. We really <laughs> probably take pictures. Okay, we came out to City Creek. It's a zoo in here. There's just people everywhere doing all their Christmas shopping and it's actually been so good because we're finding all the last minute things that we need, some stocking stuffers, some gifts that we haven't found yet. And we stopped at the food court for some lunch. Everybody kind of got their own thing. Lando, bean and cheese burrito. Karen got some kebab or something. Greek food, looks so good. Mac and Ashton with McDonald's over here. Cheeseburger, Big Mac. Did we get a Big Mac? Yeah. Big Mac for Big Mac. Big Mac for Ashton. Yo, it's the Mac attack. What up? Landon was just saying how we just saw some friends that we went on our Disney cruise with. They are downtown having a little staycation as well at the Hyatt, which is so fun. Sky and Ava got some McDonald's. Ava, show how pretty your hair is. We never showed how pretty you did. Oh, you're playing a game? Oh, that's your Happy Meal price. Okay, hold on. You gotta, you gotta turn around and show how pretty your hair is. We did some French braids and then we braided the two together with this little braid. Pretty red bow and then we curled the rest of it. So stinking cute. It's a little Christmas present. And then I got red iguana. It's like an actual restaurant in the food court. Well, Merry Christmas. <laughs> Doesn't it feel so Christmassy today? It does. Guys, we're over here at City Creek Mall. You know what? It's kind of special because this place is uncovered during the summertime, but covered during the wintertime. So it makes for like a perfect little kind of mini outdoor slash indoor, indoor outdoor. shopping experience. What's funny is we're not really shopping per se though because Christmas is literally... <laughs> Gosh, I'm sure she is. Honestly, this entire day, Emily and Lindsay have been just walking around. Do you know what? I like Chris and I are fending with the children. Oh, that's not true. We have all the girls. You have the boys. It's not you my fault. You have the easiest ones. It's not my fault that we had three boys and one girl. Yeah, you have the easiest ones. <laughs> okay, my dad. I have to show this just for my dad. Oh my gosh, this is actually really cool. You found that. I know. You know how they have like Yale, Harvard, all these different college sweatshirts right now? They're just like, or, or t shirts. They're so trendy right now. Walked into HM and they have. Can I be honest? I just, I just don't feel like this one's probably trendy. Though. Why? It's an H and M. It's obviously popular. That's actually very true. My dad's gonna be so happy. I think he gets mad when I wear other team sweatshirts. If it's not like BYU or somewhere that I went to, he's like, "Why are you wearing that?" He like gets frustrated. This one's for you, Dad. Yeah, wearing I it. I bought a vest. See my vest. See my vest. As you can see, he did actually. It's really good looking. It's very good looking. Probably Wait. inspired a little by Chris. I love it. I love yeah. the green and the black combination. It's really yeah. good looking. Yeah. We've also been doing like a little bit of secret Stocking Christmas shopping. Stuffers, yeah. So if you will. I was just in this store with Ava. By the time she sees this, she'll have opened it. She saw this, these cute like leather flared pants in the checkout. And she's like, are those for me? And I was like, no, those are mine. Bell bottoms? <laughs> yeah, they're really cute. Oh, you got bell bottoms. She's been asking for flares. Little leather flares. There she is. Oh, no, she's not. Oh, but I'm sorry, I have to show you one more thing because it's so cute. Because if the internet could provide smells, I have every single cologne you could possibly imagine right now on my body. He really does. It's like I smell and I'm like overwhelmed. That smells good. What is that? The beach. <laughs> the beach? Yeah. So this cute little dress, this tool dress for Ava. Isn't it so cute? I mean, do you want to see everything I bought? This no. is like a what I bought video. No. No. Now I'm for sure showing you. Found some really fun holiday earrings for a That's date fun. that Justin doesn't even know we're going on yet. Cute little dangly green earrings. And then I also found some other fun dangly. These are like Ooh, those have gotta be for like New Year's Eve. Tell me you don't love these. I you sit on a throne of lies. Cute little butterfly earrings. Ava got some too. These cute little earrings. Just little knickknacks as we call them. But stocking stuffers, these are for an upcoming trip that we're going on to Mexico. How fun will those be in Mexico? Wait, Lee, that's a great idea. Yeah, they're cute. Then, oh, Ava found the cutest ones for Christmas. 
I don't normally let her get her dangly ones because they're too heavy for her cute little ears, but these are like weightless. Look how cute, they're like little presents. So, I'll show you the rest, but. At this point, we're now off. Someone's uninterested over here. Well, it's not interested, but it's like six beers area because that's cool, you know? We're on the hunt the now for some sort of dessert. The rest of it we can't show you because it's secret. It's gonna be showing up here in a few days underneath the Christmas tree. We don't want to give away any more of our secrets. So, as I mentioned, we are definitely not on the same page during this current recording, as you can tell. Why? Because I'm ready for dessert and she just wants to keep showing you stuff. Lay off me, I'm starving! Well, I also want to tell you that we're just really in the Christmas spirit. Yeah. There's pretty decorations everywhere. There's like this fountain. We should go show them the fountain. Out in the middle of City Creek, there's this beautiful fountain. They're playing Christmas music. It's just, I feel like the elf in the elf movie. And now I just want to like jump and hug a Christmas tree right now. <laughs> Shopping was a total blast. I think Emily and Lindsay had probably the most fun shopping. Had some good success. Probably, yeah. As you guys saw. Guys, look at this view out here. Check this out. The courtyard is so gorgeous. This whole place is just beautiful. We gotta go out there and take pictures. Yeah. I can't believe I'm saying that, but we really <laughs> probably take pictures. So we're gonna swim for a bit, mm -hmm. and then we're gonna go back out, find a place to eat, kind of a later night dinner, maybe see some Christmas lights, maybe get some hot cocoa. Who knows? Who knows? <laughs> After midnight, we are just getting back from our day. We had the best day today. We had so much fun. Oh, we ate the latest dinner tonight because we couldn't find anybody that would feed us. Party of 11. Party of 11. That did not help. When you're in a city like this, they generally don't have parties that size. Are you think in Utah where there's big families, you'd expect it more, but yeah. So we really struggled to find a place. In fact, we put our names down at the Cheesecake Factory. Take a couple of guesses what do you think the weight was. Like, what's a normal weight for... Cheesecake Factory is usually yeah, long, but we're talking like two half, hours. Half, two hours, maybe. They called us four and a half hours. Four and a half hours. Time for breakfast. We're like, who's waiting for that? I grabbed my daughter's sleeping bag on the way out. We put our names down and here we are midnight and we still haven't gotten a text that our table's ready. No, you guys, honestly, I think when I put my name down, in my mind, I'm thinking it'll be shorter than that. They always overestimate. People will back out. Like they won't, you know, they won't keep their reservations. So we call after two hours and they're like, yep. So um, it will be in the next two hours. And we're like, oh my gosh, it's really going to be four hours. Yeah. And then they never even called us. We finally found a restaurant at like 10 p.m. in our hotel actually called the Laurel and it was incredible. That was really good. It was really good. In fact, we're actually going there tomorrow for a really nice brunch. And so we got to experience this evening. Totally different, obviously, menu. Tons of fun. However, we had some other instances tonight that we honestly didn't even think to video, but Turin cracked his phone long a ago. A couple months ago. Yeah. So they're in the Apple store and I'm like, why don't you see if they can fix the screen? So we go in there and anyway, long story short, they get us checked in, but it takes us more than an hour to get checked in because their system kept kind of failing. Fine, right? So once we get checked in, they say that we will be done until like seven. It's like four o'clock. So that's three hours from now. Because everywhere right now is absolutely It's Christmas time, chaotic. right? Like, I almost feel bad for the people that are working there because the crowds are insane right now. But hold on, I have to backtrack and defend her in here for a second. He didn't crack his phone. This is like classic junior high experience, right? Some kid threw his backpack or like came up and pushed him and then his phone dropped and he cracked it. So I believe him. Dog ate my homework. We get it. No, but let's be honest. He's had <laughs> a phone for did. three years and he's never cracked it and I'm kind of proud That's of him. That's true. He's really careful. With it. Anyway, so get it checked in. We go to pick it up and they inform us that the screen is fixed, but in the process they broke his phone. Okay, this is nine o'clock at this point. Yeah. So the good news is he gets a brand new phone. The bad news is 
Yeah, they don't have any. We just have to order one. The bad news is his phone currently now, it actually seems to work just fine. It has told us that it might, it might drop some calls. So the bad news is, you know, he may have a phone that intermittently drops calls. He just hung up on me mid-sentence. Not the worst thing in the world, but again, kind of a funny little thing that happened to us tonight. So we paid to fix a screen on a phone that no longer works. <laughs> so yeah, I mean, you can say that Terrence getting a new phone for Christmas, even though, you know, it wasn't part of the plan. So we are headed to bed. All the kids are asleep at this point. Tomorrow's a, a going to be a really fun day, actually. We've got this very special brunch all planned out. We're going to take some pictures outside in the courtyard. We have to, actually. In fact, we haven't been to the courtyard yet during the nighttime. Once all lit up. Beautiful out there. It's really just been like the perfect kickoff to our Christmas break. Totally, it really it's been has. so fun. Guys, we're going to bed. See you tomorrow.